guess who is looking at memes instead of meeting new people today's video will be about reviewing memes or critiquing them first meme says your opinion to an intj unsolicited unwanted and incorrect intjs have a clear plan about what they want to achieve and how they want to go about it so if you come to an intj's project without having any clue about what he wants to do and you start giving your ideas that idea will not follow whatever you want to say because you don't even have a clue of what they are trying to do and there you are dishing out advice that is uncalled for i kind of need a hug but rather die than let anyone know i am a human being that desperately craves intimacy well this is true for our entities even though we appear very confident you know knowing everything because of our extroverted thinking deep down in us we also have feelings but because we are afraid of rejections instead of like looking so desperate we rather prefer to look confident and act as if everything is okay but deep down within us we need that love the one thing an intg craves so much is loan time with that loan time we either spend it reading a book or doing research which we normally do all the time so you can never find an intg that is alone and actually lonely when an intj is about to explode all over you for incompetency an intj is built for competence that is why we despise lazy people incorrect systems and we are always thinking of ways to improve on every system in order to increase competence and intj begging you to take on their well thought advice naturally most people see us as intelligent confident and know it all so i would disagree with this meme in that you won't find an intj walking about giving advice but in some cases if you complain to an intj without even asking for advice well they will give you one or two advice but they won't force you to act on their advice no smoking within 25 feet INTJ boldly breaking the rules to force you to confront them so that they can rant about their genius point of view. On a personal level, I would also like to disagree with this meme because INTJs, we are perfectionists. We will support any rule that is for the betterment of the world. Or no smoking within 25 feet. I think an INTJ will be the first person to point out to somebody smoking under that sign that they are not supposed to smoke within that area and most importantly an intj will definitely know the risk of smoking when an intj friend hold out important information to force you to do research i will agree with this one more on a personal level there are times i intentionally withhold information from people in order to force them to do research people see intjs as all knowing or the least problem they have they tend to an INTJ and ask, what is this, what is that, what is a boy, who is a girl? You see this as nuance. INTJ is being forced to obey the rules on the surface level. As INTJs, we are prone to breaking rules, especially when the rules don't tie with us, with our ideologies. If we are in a situation where we have to obey the rules in order to survive, we will do that just on the surface level, but deep down within us, if we have the slightest chance, to break that rule, definitely we will go for it. An INTJ trying extra hard not to burst out in anger at simpletons. Well, I disagree with this meme. You see, when you are having a conversation with an INTJ, in that INTJ's mind, he is constantly assessing your level of understanding, your knowledge about the subject matter. If an INTJ happens to talk to simpletons, he will not get angry because... He or she only knows their level of understanding and what is needed from them as INTJs to push on with the conversation. INTJs solving problems logically. Well, as INTJs, we are built for problem solving. And because of our extroverted thinking, we approach everything analytically and logically. Therefore, we will see every problem, everything as a problem and try to give solutions to it. INTJs, when things don't go according to their master plans, this is unfair. Well, on a personal level, I want to disagree with this meme, and I think most INTJs watching this too would also disagree with this meme. Hear me out on this one. INTJs cannot do without a plan. 
once they start implementing a plan, if nothing ties in that plan, you know, in their mind, they start looking for ways to come up with another plan. So if the master plan doesn't work, there is always a plan B with an INTG. After they almost overdose on hard drugs to test the limit of their control over their consciousness. Yes, as an INTG, I tried this once where I had to smoke marijuana in order to fully understand why people smoke marijuana or Indian him behave the way they behave. But because of curiosity, I think they might do that just to satisfy or solve a particular problem. Feeling nothing at all and having intense emotions. You see, as INTJs, we often find ourselves in this crossroad where we don't feel anything because of our dominant extroverted thinking. And at the same time, we have this strong, intense emotion that we need to satisfy because of our introverted feelings. Since hair cannot be preserved in fossils, we cannot rule out the possibility that dinosaurs look like this. The INTJ mind operates on facts and evidence. If you're able to prove the existence of something with facts, then you will have me as an INTJ supporting whatever you're saying. INTJ social battery. Well, I totally agree with this meme. Our energy loss is directly proportional to the amount of people we interact with. I think I will support this meme even though it is really weird. On weekdays, we are working. On weekends, we don't like partying. Obviously, we are working. We have fun through maybe playing a video game. We prefer to talk with friends behind screens than meet with them physically. And right now, I am sitting in front of my computer making this video. So, it is true. When your friend is crying and you don't know how to help and you just keep staring at their ugly face. As creepy as this meme may look, I think I will agree with it. I, for one, I don't know how to console people when they are crying because I really have a hard time understanding emotions which makes me difficult to come up with the right set of words in order to make them happy or in order to cheer them up. What we are likely to do in this case is instead to try and understand why that person is crying or why that person is sad and to determine if the situation actually merits a cry or not and which is obviously not helpful in this case. When I say something so subtle and clearly sarcastic that no one appreciates except me, there are times I am sarcastic, the next person is like, what? What did you just say? Or I find myself laughing alone and nobody seems to understand it. An INTJ's form of humor is sarcasm. And most people will not understand a sarcasm if they don't have the same dominant extroverted thinking functions as we. The only thing a true introvert dislikes more than talking about himself is repeating himself. I think if you want to really get me an INTJ, for example, myself, get pissed off, is for me to repeat something to you again and again. To me, you are lazy, you don't have interest in what I'm doing, and repeating myself will mean wasting my time. And time to an INTJ is the most precious commodity they have. Yeah. Having high expectations of others and having high expectations of self. First, having high expectations of others. I think us like our entities, when we meet people for the first time, we don't want to judge them. We always want to give everybody an equal opportunity to act. When that person de defaults from that behavior, we are disappointed. We also have high expectations of ourselves. That is why we don't entertain laziness. We don't entertain failure. We try to be perfect as much as possible to achieve every goal and to solve every problem logically. That is who we are. Here is another meme I disagree with. The list of high school friends I still keep in touch with. An INTJ does not need a list of high school friends because in the first place they don't have any. And if they do, they have just one or two. And maybe that friend, that high school friend, is probably still their best friend up to now. When we make a friend, we don't easily let them go. So having a list to keep in touch with high school friends, I don't see that possible for an INTJ. Kill them with facts and logic or shut up and sympathize. Well, this meme actually got me laughing in the first place. But um, our first action to any situation is with facts and logic. 
and that is why we are off-putting at times because we don't actually know when to sympathize because we are always controlled by extroverted function you know we also empathize with people a lot i for one i know when to go for the red button and when to go for the blue button when someone takes 15 minutes to explain something that should take only five seconds is it what INTJs hate is waste the time to be on the good side of an INTJ don't waste their time because at the moment you start talking with an INTJ what they do is scan through the information to get just a few essential points and because we are good at pattern recognition once we find a few patterns we, we are able you know, to have a full picture of the story why are you saying it so if you keep winding on it you are pissing off because you are actually taking away the one thing that we love the most, time. Our INTJ prefers your silent over forceful small talks. If your conversation with an INTJ is not intellectual, is not meaningful, then you don't have that INTJ's attention. Although we are good listeners, but we might sit there, pretend to listen while we get nothing from it. As creepy as this meme might look, there's some degree of truth in it. And I they will treat their career like that, especially if they don't like what they are doing at the moment. Because what we INTJs like to do is be autonomous. We don't like to take orders from any other person. So if we have a side job that allows us to do as we please, we will prefer that more to add that career. And definitely with time, we will dump it. I don't see romance different from what it is intended for. Definitely, I am the person in that meme. Because our huge craving for knowledge, we want to read many books as possible. So once we see new books, we have this huge craving to know what is inside the book. Even though we have, you know, piles of unread books sitting at home. Baby, I ain't this birthday party. I would disagree with this meme. I think looking back at my childhood, I was a fun kid growing around because I understood a lot. At that younger level, we always have a huge admiration from our friends because of our level of understanding at that age. So we tend to draw in more people. And I think my birthday as a four-year-old would not have been like this. How to use a planner to organize your life? Definitely, planning is a thing. But for INTPs, they always want to have a flexible plan in order to allow for other possibilities because of the unforeseen. Being rather stubborn and independent, believing that an authority only deserves respect once it is earned. Definitely, yes. INTJs have little patience with rules that make no sense. We don't follow rules because rules tend to limit our creativity. And anything that prevents us from thinking, which is what we do on a daily basis, we obviously not want to be part of it. This is another meme though. INTJs don't do anything solely for the fun of it. Everything we do has a point. This basically just explains who we are in a few words. We don't do anything without a purpose. Just having fun for the sake of fun, count me out. An INTJ listening to a slow talker. When somebody talks that slow, I tend to push them to talk fast because I don't have that time to keep listening to them blabbing about one thing over and over and over. It gets me bored easily. So if you want to talk to an INTJ, make sure you summarize whatever you want to say and go straight to the point. An INTJ to the people they love and how they behave to the rest of the world is true. To the few people that we love, we tend to interact with them using our introverted feeling function while we approach the world with our dominant function. An INTJ. I always have a plan, definitely. <laughs> Even at gunpoint, an INTJ will always have a plan. The life of an INTJ is all about planning. It's all about seeing five, six years away from now. So we always have a plan and count the plans. That is why we are called the mastermind or the architect. Just because we appear to be loners, judgmental, condescending, arrogant, unfeeling, antisocial, blah, blah, blah. We aren't terribly fond of you. Because we are more of a thinking type and less feeling. It is difficult for us to show our emotions about how we feel about a particular person. I can't wait. We are very time conscious because time is our most precious commodity. 
We treat it with all the love and concern we have. INTJs hate to wait on somebody because they are very impatient. We hate to see time go by without us doing something about it. Trying to explain to an extrovert that you enjoy being alone. <laughs> I think what is more frustrating to an INTJ is conveying what they have in their mind in precise words to another person. That is why people see us as obscured because we are unable to actually explain ourselves to them in order to help them understand us. So it is like talking to a wall. I just have hard times remembering irrelevant things. For example, your name. We are more of the imaginative type, which means we store information more or less as images. Meet with an INTJ today, discuss something very important, come back five years or ten years from that time. That INTJ will be able to recount the story from start to finish, recognize you facially, but be rest assured that that INTJ will not know your name. An INTJ living life to the fullest on a Saturday night. Yeah. This meme is true. We rather spend our time doing something relevant that will help humanity rather than spending our time doing nothing. An INTJ's brain. We are goal oriented. We like complexity. We enjoy science. We like challenging things. We like facts and evidence. We read a lot and we do a lot of research. That is who we are. When we meet the person we are meant to be with, we let nothing stand in our way. Although we might look cold, off-putting, confident, hard to approach, but once we see somebody that we connect with them at a personal level using our FI, and we tend to let that person see the other side of us, which is actually our feelings, our humor, the way we think, the way we whine, and you know we only do that to people we are more comfortable with. I entities, others don't take the time to understand me when I understand them quite well. What we fail to understand as introverts at times is that most people don't have that level of discernment like we do and they are not gifted with the extroverted thinking like us. We tend to overlook this point and believe that they don't understand us. Meanwhile, maybe on their own level, they are trying very hard to, but because of the way we are, they cannot fully understand us. I am not shy or quiet. I am just listening to your conversation and assessing your weaknesses. In a gathering, an INTJ will be the last person to give their opinion or to say anything. Because while the other person is talking, they are constantly assessing their weakness on the subject matter and how much they understand the subject matter. If you see an INTJ talking more in a gathering, it's when or she understands that the others do not have a good understanding of the subject matter as he does, instead of sitting there and listening to them, he takes charge to educate them about the subject matter. Well, thanks for watching this video. 